another six by six. Oh, P1, P1. Oh, P1, well, sorry, P1. What? Huh, welcome to Car Week. We spot a lot for and you see a P1. 355 Spider. So we're at the parking lot of one of the Ferrari rallies. There's a few very interesting Ferraris with some good specs here. So I'll just walk through whatever's here. I haven't really taken a close look, but as you can see behind me, there's a good amount of cars. So starting off on this side, you can see this 355 Spider, and here you can see what looks like almost a Scuderia, but it's not a Scuderia. It's got the it actually doesn't even have the Scuderia stripe, it's like the 360 Chance Rodalium stripe. Obviously, everything else is just regular 430. The color is actually really nice. It's not the regular resale red. However, it is gated manual, so you got to respect that. That's actually pretty sick. Um, but then if you look in the back, it's got the Scuderia carbon fiber grille, but the exhausts are in the regular F430 place. But still, gated car, got to respect it. So here is this 599 with the HGTE package, the handling package. Got these different wheels on the regular 599s. And it's got these nicer seats, so nicer looking interior. It's kind of a track-ish version, baby GTO, maybe you can kind of say, of the 599 GTB. Across from that, we have this 48 GT3 car. Now, here's a very nice lineup of three limited edition Ferraris. Speciali Aperta, the last naturally aspirated mid-engine V8 Ferrari made. Very good in this yellow with the blue accents. I think we see this car car week pretty much every year. So this blue piece that's also a piece of spider. It's not a regular piece, so a lot more rare blue with red and the white stripes. But the cool thing is, if you look at the seats, they exactly match the outside of the car. What a good spec. Even like around the seat belt buckles, everything is white. Very, very custom interior. This special Alaporta, like I said before, looks incredible. And next to that is one of 799 Ferrari F12 TDFs. Obviously the track version of the Ferrari F12. Which, speaking of which, you can see in the back, a regular Ferrari F12, but the predecessor to this car is actually right here, and this might be one of the best specs I've ever seen on one. 599 GTO in this dark blue. I don't know if this is TDF blue, but um, very nice blue with the silver stripe, kind of like a brushed aluminum chrome style wheel. All the GTOs have these kind of brake guards right here, this metal. So every single GTO will have this on the carbon ceramic brakes, silver mirrors, the interior is full Alcantara. So freaking nice. These cars are so rare and they sound so good. This is pretty much the Ferrari Enzo engine in a 599 GTO. But here's probably the rarest car in this parking lot. So from the front, because there's no contrasting accents, this just looks like a 599 GTB, especially because the wheels are pretty normal. But when we look a little closer, you can tell there's something off with the roof. This is not the regular GTB roof. That is because this car is an SA Aperta. What that means is the GTO engine, but the roof is removable. One of Ferrari says 80 made, but I think the real number is closer to 120 to 150. But again, this might be my favorite car in the world. Open top V12 GTO, pretty much. SA Aperta is such a sick car, and this one is in all yellow. Most of them are red with the silver top, or most of them have a contrasting top. This one is all yellow. I freaking love it. It's pretty low key for an SA Aperta. This is a million and a half dollar car all day long. And finally, we had the lookalike Scuderia back there. Now we have a real Scuderia, Rosa Corsa, typical spec, launch spec with the stripes. Very good car. They sound incredible. But yeah, not a bad lineup of special edition Ferraris here. New Z06 next to a Pista, and you can see a Speciale poking up there. So we are back at the inn at Spanish Bay. There's always a Lexus here, I guess. They're kind of sponsored, but Can-Am Senna, which is kind of the Senna LM for Canada, because we actually never got the LMs in Canada, and then this one ended up here in the U.S. The crazy Chiron Supersport that we saw driving the other day just got delivered, came out of nowhere. What a crazy car. Now there's nobody around it. We can take a closer look at that design. Absolutely wild. The interior completely matches it, and it's got the sky view as well. And then the world record car, Chiron Supersport 300. Crazy intakes here, kind of like the EB110 ones that were behind the window, the high speed wheels. No sky view on this one because it's all about top speed and performance. This one, however, does have it because it's more of kind of a spec that one to the way the customer wants it, but very similar spec with the blue accents. Next to that is my favorite one here, the white one with the white and black interior. Same thing with all the vents and everything, but Skyview as well. And this one, this one's more like the luxurious side. 
but the interior is so good in this black and white and of course the super sports longer than the regular one and then again the cars we saw yesterday the regera full carbon with the blue accents carbon wheels carbon everything and this i don't think was parked here yesterday the remark um yeah these are like 1.90 to 60 crazy expensive people are starting to buy them now and then the Storado huracan which is kind of like the, the car 911 but off-roady raised up off-road tires come from factory kind of like a rally car huracan that you can buy from lamborghini and then right there is what's probably the fastest car you can just buy to drive around these quickest the valkyrie aston martin this thing does not look like a road legal car it doesn't even look like a real car it looks like it's straight out of a video game one of those like vision gt gran turismo things but this is a real car that you can buy someone did buy and someone is driving right here at spanish bay the flake in the paint is absolutely crazy a green with like a bit of a tint of blue but so nice and the cabin is so much narrower than the car itself i mean there's so much more room here and here that the cabin just narrows down another speciality aperta RWB997 and a 599. S60R in like the top gear spec with the right wheels. It's pretty cool. That's actually sick. SVJ. Versalago, but not a real SV. Koenigsegg Agera HH. So we're walking towards the entrance of the Quail, which the Quail show in itself is probably going to be a separate video from this. But I'm coming up to the parking lot and I'm already seeing some crazy cars here. So I'll put the cars in the spectator parking lot in this video. Quail is going to be its own video. So here we have the Aventador Ultimate Roadster. One of 250, the final variation of the Lamborghini Aventador. Might be my favorite. A lot cleaner in my opinion than an SVJ. Next to that is this full carbon body Pagani Wire Roadster. With the blue carbon accents. This car is pretty much here every year in the parking lot. But probably so far, my favorite I'm seeing in this parking lot is this, this Koenigsegg, the older one. The I think it's manual, full carbon body. I love these things. But yeah, such a good looking car. I think this is a CCXR, I believe. Um, no, this one's not a manual paddle shifter. First of all, the paddle shifter cars. So it's kind of nice delivery on this 911. But man, the shape of these first generation-ish Koenigseggs is just so nice. Then, as you can tell, the parking lot 718 Spider SLS Roadster. LP640 Roadster, one thing we gotta check, is it manual or not? Nope, this one is an eager, but still a very, very cool car. Okay, two seconds before we go in, I see a bunch of crazy stuff right there, so let's quickly go take a look at that. So, a ton of colors here because a ton of supercars, but we got the Exiges, all that. Kind of interesting, but before we run in, of course, the Chiron Poor Sport, the orange one, the Canadian one, even though it's on Florida plates, very cool right here. And then two more cars worth a mention here are this green p1 and the map blue veyron 16.4 very very nice on hres not a bad lineup gunther works right here the black diablo sc30 next to the f40 so the mirage gt gambala one of i think 25 cars ever made next to that is this 918 we saw this either this year or last year at cavalina weekend in palm beach it was blue back then with the roof scoop kind of matching the Carrera GT. Then we have one Koenigsegg in full exposed carbon and another one right next to it, a Gira RS's. Awesome lineup right here at the front. Then the CLK DTM convertible that we saw a few days ago, SLR 722, one of 150 ever made. Here we have this awesome looking orange Carrera GT. I think this specific one might've been up for auction in 2019 or 2021 here in Monterey Car Week, then a Singer. The Wyra BC, and next to that are a black 918 Spider with the y side package, and this awesome looking silver LaFerrari with the FXXK wheels, black roof, very clean spec, and then the orange LFA, the only one in the world with fog lights. Very good lineup here outside of Quail. So I've been getting very impressed recently with these McLaren 765 specs that I've been seeing around Monterey. There was one that we saw with the brown and the light interior. This one has blue on this like kind of brownish color 765 LT Spider. It's also nice that it's a Spider and it's on center seats. It really makes it stick out a lot more than if it was a coupe or if it was comfort seats. It's kind of awesome to see the color combinations that people come up with with MSO for these 765s. 
MC12 course. Uh, what? 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 Is the top off? Do the tops off? I didn't know the course has a removable roof. Neither did I actually. What? What? MC12 Corso on the road. What the hell? Right as we leave Quail, MC12 Corso on the road. What? That is freaking wild. MC12 course are just like no big deal. I didn't even know the top is removable on the MC12 course, but apparently it is. You get this like roll bar in the middle. Oh, the roofs look so good. I don't know if any place I've just driven around with an MC12 course with no top on. That is freaking insane. What a baller car right here. Possibly the best random spot of car week. GT3 RS, Gambala Mirage GT with the MC12 Corsa. What a crazy lineup, right after Quail. What the hell is going on here? Car week is ramping the fuck up. Freaking wild, CGT, Mirage GT. Oh, nice, crazy, crazy, crazy car. But the MC12 Corsa obviously just outdoes the Mirage GT. so light what the hell but the v12 the enzo v12 the induction going straight from here to the engine freaking crazy i guess this is the lightest engine cover you'll ever see just here on the dirt still what just exposed mc12 right here and our friends Five nine nine GTO. Oh, one of my favorite cars this car week. Purple Diablo SE thirty. Oh, that is so good. That is so freaking good. really ramping up you can just see cars literally everywhere and in those cars it's not just your regular sports car just some hyper cars driving around crazy rare stuff classics so we're just gonna walk around ocean avenue for a little bit which is kind of the main area of monterey car week see what drives by there's gonna be some crazy stuff people doing crazy stuff a ton of people here a ton of cars you can barely even find parking so the craziness starts 765 lt spider but look at that p1 in red just parked up you don't even notice you don't even notice that the cars behind it are still cool cars. AMG GTR, I think it's a pro. And then a GT3, I mean, X, I think it's a 3M or a 5M, but M3, you don't even notice that because everything here is just absolutely crazy. The super nice spec 765 coupe. We saw it exactly in this one a few days ago. The carbon with the dark red right here, the roof scoop, everything on this car is done just right. Probably the nicest spec coupe that I have seen. F430 9, uh, 991 GT3 RX7 A12 GTS 901 GT3 I mean everywhere you look California GT3 Aston Martin F12 every car is a special car here okay so obviously when there's more cars there's more people and you can clearly see that but let's go take a look at what cars they're looking at we've seen some of them in other videos but yeah we got the Koenigsegg, I think it's a CCXR, carbon fiber body, completely one of the old school Koenigseggs. Then we got an Apollo IE. This one was just a quail, we just saw it there. Then these two have been here pretty much all week. 
We have the Wyra BC Coupe, the blue one, the first cool car we saw this year. Car week was this Wyra BC. And then behind that is the red Chiron Four Sport, one of so many freaking Chirons that we saw this year. But you cannot complain. The more Bugattis you see, the better. RX7 as well, some JDM for Car Week. Crazy lineup right here. We got a buddy from Toronto. Another 6x6. Six six. Lando A. Another 4x4 four four over there. What a crazy lineup. Look at that crazy lineup. The Lando A is fucking sick. This is what I mean when I tell you it's fucking crazy here. The Friday night, the Saturday night, just all day long, non-stop, cars, 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 F8. This is not even a part of the convoy. Old Mustang, GTR, crazy. Coming back around, full force, Aventador SV, Bugatti Chiron, six by sixes. Land Olays, everything, 4x4s, absolutely freaking wild. Like, you know, and these are usually cool, you point them out, but after a, a trail like that goes by, do you really care about a Ghost and a GT3 RS and all that? Red Aventador SV. And of course, a piece that just parked it casually. Let's keep walking. Cobra, ACR, wild. Look at how many people just line the streets here. Yellow early V8 Vantage. Don't see them anymore. For some reason, every time you see one, it's gray. So, yellow is a nice change. Random Veyron in traffic. I think I have a thing with this subway and Bugattis because last year, we're eating at this subway. Stradman's Bugatti drives through. Two years ago, we're eating at the subway. A Chiron drives through. Right now, we're about to walk into the subway and the map Blue Veyron drives through. I am holding a ton of food, plus my other hand's completely busy, so it's hard to film, but we got a C2 Corvette, but on the truck in front of it is a Ferrari F50. Just casually being loaded onto the flatbed, the Ferrari F50, one 349 ever made. I don't know if we saw this one this trip yet or not. Not sure which, ooh, I know, this is an ex McLaren F1 owner's car. Very, very nice. TVR Cigaris. We saw this one in LA. So we were just debating on whether or not to film like the 959, the GTR, and the F40 because we've seen them before. But then I saw out of the corner of my eye something very, very, very interesting right here. So like an hour ago, we saw Ferrari F50 outside, but this is no ordinary Ferrari F50. This is one of four black Ferrari F50s ever made. We only really see it at Car Week. The owner actually drives the hell out of it when it's here. Saw it last year and I'm so happy to see it again. The black Ferrari F50, one of four, such a sick car. So right after the black Ferrari F50, the one of four, there's a random map blue. We saw this today in the Quail parking lot, but the map blue 16.4 Veyron. This one has the HRE wheels, which kind of makes me think this map blue is probably a wrap, but regardless, pretty clean 16.4. It's got the cream seats with the two-tone dark blue. Very nice early car with early headlights, probably a 2008. Still aging amazing and properly parked in race mode, wing up, car lowered. Look at this Sport Classic. No decals, very hard to actually see from the front that it is a Sport Classic. Very cool car. 
but yeah other than the veyron right here there's also a cobra and then there is this jag d type this is a aerial atom so this is the three something i think this is the the six cylinder one though or maybe a four cylinder one the one i really want to see is the one that was on top here to the v8 but i think that was actually just a concept car regardless pretty crazy to see an aerial atom just in a parking lot so we're back at Portola parking lot and look at the wheels on the Phantom. Honestly, normally I wouldn't just point out a Rolls Royce, but these wheels are badass. Um, and yeah, I mean, the 959, the back of it at least has been here for quite a while. Pretty cool. Z8 Alpina. Mercy Fake Mercy SV. Regular Mercy. Love Ferrari, which one is it? I think it's the silver one. Let's see, light's gonna turn green soon for them. Then we're gonna see it go. Things gonna go straight. Hey. Oh. Okay. Oh, P1, well, sorry, P1. What? Huh, welcome to Car Week. We spot a lot for and you see a P1.